G'day, this is Central Coast Newspapers Weekly News 5 at 5 for the fourth week of December, our 2022 Christmas edition. In the bulletin this week, Christmas charities ramp up their support, the Premier and PM on the coast to open a super battery, a petition to bring forward council elections, mariners take two wins in five days, growing Christmas gardens with Sherilyn, and Chef Daniel and Kyla's Pavlova party. Now, charity organisations across the region have been preparing for Christmas this week as many families are under increasing financial strain due to rising costs, well, on almost everything. The Salvation Army, Newcastle Permanent, as well as the Greater Bank, Berkeley Vale Community Centre, Woolworths, the Seventh-day Adventist Church and many others. And of course, Coast Shelter have been busy organising food hampers, children's gifts and accommodation to help over this Christmas. Now, the Prime Minister and the Premier were on the Central Coast briefly this week to inspect the location of the soon-to-be-constructed Waratah Super Battery at Lake Munmora, which, apparently, will be the largest battery project in the world next year. Let's hope they bring down power prices. Now, this week, a formal e-petition was presented to the New South Wales Parliament to bring forward local council elections. Member for the entrance, David Meehan, presented the petition on behalf of local resident Gregory Knott, who says the proposed election dates at the moment, as they stand on September 14, 2024, were too far away. Now, the Central Coast Mariners have had a winning week with two big wins against First Sydney FC last weekend and the Newcastle Jets on Wednesday evening. This puts the local team in an admirable third place on the A-League men's ladder. Of note was Brazilian import Marco Tulio, who has shown his skills with a remarkable goal against the Jets, lobbed over the head from the centre line of the keeper with style and dipping in to the back of the net. Now let's ask Sherilyn about some Christmas gardening on the coast. I'm Sherilyn Darcy and this is Down in the Garden. Why not give a gift to your garden this year and plant an Australian native Christmas tree? If you've got the space, the magnificent Norfolk pine is gorgeous, but they do grow up to 35 metres in height. If you want something a bit smaller that will suit most gardens, the woolly bush is so popular with the bonus of vivid orange-pink flowers in spring and early summer. For more Christmas gardening ideas, check out my Down in the Garden page in this week's Coast News. This week's 41 local stories written by our local journalists can be found in this week's newspaper and, of course, on our website coastcommunitynews.com.au. Or find us via your mobile phones, Google News and Apple News apps, where fresh local stories are published every day. Or subscribe to our weekly emails newsletter via our website or follow our socials on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram for brief highlights throughout the week. Of course, you can listen in to Radio 50 Plus 93.3 FM throughout the weekend and each day throughout the week. Now, we leave you this week with a special taste of pavlova. Local celebrity chef Daniel teamed up with Cakes by Kyla to produce a fun how-to-make-a-pavlova video for Coasties this Christmas. Here's a little taster. Watch the full video on our YouTube channel. I love this kind of dessert because the more rustic it is, the prettier it looks. Like, it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be perfect. Anyone can make it. And it's, I think it's one of those cool things, you know, with kids getting, mm. they can kind of sit on the kitchen bench, yeah. they can start throwing the fruit all over it. Yeah. Oh, that's so fresh and pretty. And it's got a good smell about it. it. And that's one thing that's very unique about having a wreath like this. From Kyla and I, we'd like to thank you and have a very Merry Christmas. I'm David Abrahams. Have a great Christmas and thanks for tuning in.